Prepare the AFO model for vacuum forming. Place the molding blank with the narrow side against the model with the distal edge at the ankle joint center. After placing the molding blank in the appropriate position, attach it to the model with a brad nail to make sure it does not shift during the vacuum forming process. Vacuum form the plastic directly over the molding blank. The plastic must be completely heated to conform correctly to the molding blank. While the plastic is still transparent, use the tip of a nail to mark the location of the brad. This mark will serve as the center reference point for the cut line. With a marking pencil, draw the cut line from the mark down to the axis of the ankle. Before cutting, remove the brad from the inside of the AFO. To separate the AFO into two sections, cut carefully on the established cut line and make sure you cut completely through the molding blank. Your cut should be aligned with the nail hole, leaving the grind lines above and below the cut line. Looking inside the AFO, locate the grind lines, which are small horizontal lines located on either side of the cut line. To make the grind lines more visible and to improve accuracy, draw a horizontal line with a marking pencil to extend the grind lines. Using a small sanding cone, grind up to but not over or beyond the grind line while keeping the surface perpendicular to the molding blank. Leave all edges square. Do not grind past the grind line as this can affect strength and function of the AFO. Locate the screwdriver slot just above the grind line. Place a flathead screwdriver into the screwdriver slot and apply pressure to remove the upper molding blank. Select the appropriate snap stop and insert it into the channel in the proximal section. Check to ensure that the snap stop is seated firmly and correctly. The AFO is now ready for fitting on your patient.